On your screen, you are looking at ESC 2012 Objective Paper 1 of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. And in this paper, question number 13 is based on infinite ladder network of capacitors. And in this lecture, we are going to solve this particular problem. According to the problem, we are required to calculate the effective capacitance. Effective capacitance is the equivalent capacitance and we are required to calculate it across AB. So we need to calculate the equivalent capacitance across terminal A and terminal B. And this is our ladder network. Four options are given in the problem and we will begin our solution by selecting the smallest repeated section like we did in case of resistors and you can see that this is the smallest repeated section. Now if I remove this section from the ladder network and calculate the equivalent capacitance between this and this terminal, I will get C equivalent. Why? Because we have infinite times repetition of this particular section and if we remove one such section from the infinite sections then the effective capacitance will remain same. So finally we have C sub EQ as the capacitance between terminal A and terminal B. C sub EQ. Then we have one capacitor having capacitance C. Then another capacitor having capacitance C. And then we have one capacitor having the capacitance C sub EQ. And now upon solving it, we can have C sub EQ. We can see that this capacitor and this capacitor are in series. Therefore, we can have a single capacitor having the value C multiplied to CEQ divided by C plus CEQ. And then that single capacitor will be in parallel with C. So we will add C. And finally, we will have a single capacitor having the capacitance equal to this and this should be equal to C EQ. So this is what we have and we can multiply C plus C EQ on both the sides giving us C EQ inside the bracket C plus C EQ equal to C multiplied to C EQ plus C multiplied to C plus CEQ. When we open this bracket, we will have CEQ multiplied to C plus CEQ square equal to C multiplied to CEQ plus C square plus C multiplied to CEQ. This and this will cancel out. So we have CEQ square. Then we will subtract C multiplied to C Q and C square on both the sides. This and this will cancel out, this and this will cancel out and therefore on the right hand side we have 0 and on the left hand side we have C Q square minus C multiplied to C Q minus C square. So we have one quadratic equation and we can solve it easily. When we compare this equation with AX square plus BX plus C equal to 0, we can see that A is equal to 1, B is equal to minus C and C is equal to minus C square. And we know the formula to calculate the roots of x. x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. 
in place of x we have c eq in place of b we have minus c in place of a we have 1 and in place of c we have minus c square so when you solve it you will get c eq is equal to c plus minus under root 5 c divided by 2 or we can write c eq is equal to 1 plus minus under root 5 divided by 2 multiplied to c now when you look at the four options you will find option d is the correct option